Hi everyone! Welcome back to the pregnancy updates. We are now on week 19, so one week until halfway. It's kind of going at a nice speed now. It's not going slowly, it's not going fast, it's just going kind of at just right speed. So we're just tootling along quite nicely now. So week 19, what has this week brought? So I have still been kind of suffering from the old um, low blood pressure, so getting up too fast results in me either blacking out or um, getting those little spots or stars, whatever you want to call them, um, everywhere. And um, one faint this week, just one. So yeah, it's not so great and I'm just constantly kind of still out of breath and just not myself. Not, I didn't have this at all with Viola, like, well not to this extent, so it's a bit like, oh. But um, there's not much I can do to be honest, other than just monitor it and see what happens and I'll mention it again at my next appointment but I don't think I have another appointment until I'm like 24 weeks or something. So many appointments, second pregnancy. But anyways, other symptoms. Um, only had one headache this week so that's great. Yes, yes, yes. Um, not really been feeling sick. Maybe only had one bout that I can remember of nausea. So that's fab as well. Still craving strawberries massively. I'm eating a pan of strawberries every night. I send Robert out to get them and if like the shop around the corner doesn't have them I'm like I get really like, ah, I need my strawberries. <laughs> so, I mean, there's worse things you could crave, so that's good. Um, what else? So I'm back to the old constipation, which is a bit... <laughs> I've been kind of okay for a couple of weeks, then I was come back. So, yeah, we won't dwell on that. That's that. I'm a lot more tired. I'm super tired. Really, really tired. I do need to start going to bed earlier. That would probably help me because I'm not really getting to bed before midnight because I always have so much to do, whether it's stuff around the house or um, working on the website or the YouTube channel. It just never ends. And also we're going on holiday in a week and a few days. So I've been busy holiday shopping and planning. So yeah, it just never ends. Probably why time's going a bit quicker now. I've got this thing where I'd, I remember, I, mm, I don't know if I had it properly with Viola, I'd need to go back and read like my pregnancy updates, but I know I've read about it before. So when you're um, pregnant, sometimes like your um, like passages, your airways and whatever, just get a bit swollen. I couldn't tell you why, but they do. And um, yeah, I'm finding it when I'm, I'm fine during the day and then I go to bed at night and they just go and completely close so I can't breathe through my nose. So I can only breathe through my mouth, which is a bit of a pain when you're sleeping because you wake up and you're like, and your lips are all dry and your mouth's all dry and it's really horrible. So that's been rubbish. So my lips are all cracked and ugh, I'm going to have to work on them a little bit. And also it's just, it's not comfortable. You know, you get that horrible feeling at the back of your throat and neck as well where it's all dry. So that's a bit poopy. But that's it really on the symptom front. I'm getting lots and lots of kicks, lots of kicks. Robert felt baby kick for the first time, which is super exciting last night. Um, so he's he's just feeling, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's just second pregnancy or what it is, but he's just been, he's just felt like it's less real this time around, I think, because I think with the first one, you're so obsessive over everything and your bump and whatever, but the second one, you're, you're kind of just going with the flow a little bit more. I don't think it's felt as real to him as the first time did, but now he's felt the baby kick. He was just, he was so excited and he even said he was like, wow, it, it feels real, like, there's actually a baby. That was cool. But at the same time, I'm also getting quite a lot of cramping and I had a tiny bit of bleeding as well. So, yeah, not so good. But we've got our 20 week scan next week. So that'll be really exciting. Looking forward to that. Baby is now 15.3 centimeters long and weighs 240 grams. Baby is now covered in vernix, which is that white coating you always see on babies a lot of the time when, they were, when they're born. Isla came out with quite a lot of it still on her and it was really hard to get off um, certain bits when we were changing her nappy. And the purpose of the vernix is to protect the baby's skin from damage in the womb. Baby's arms and legs are becoming more proportionate to their body because to begin with their legs were pretty long and a little bit disproportionate so that's all kind of evening out now. There's more fat under the layers of skin which obviously makes them look a little bit more human and babyish. And their facial features are a lot more defined. If baby is a girl then she will already have half the eggs that she's going to be born with which is a crazy thought. And now the gender can clearly be identified by ultrasound. We aren't finding out I don't think. Um, I don't want to find out. I want a surprise this time. I think Robert's quite keen to find out because he'll be deployed and he'll probably miss the birth so I think he wants to know before anyone else does because obviously a midwife will know before him and my mum is probably going to be my birthing partner so she'll know before him so I think that's the main reason he wants to know. 
but on the NHS like he can't find out and not me so if we wanted him to find out and not me we'd have to go get a private scan before he deploys get them to write it down and then he can take it off on ship and look at it if he wants to but we haven't had a proper proper discussion our scans in like one two three four five five or six days five days um but yeah we still haven't decided properly but i i think we're going to be having a surprise so i don't think you'll be getting a gender reveal from us unfortunately i have had quite a lot of people asking and i would love to i would love it would be such a lovely video to film it'd be so special but i just i don't know there's not many surprises in life these days so i'd quite like a surprise and the last fun fact of the baby at week 19 is that they're only awake for six hours a day which is interesting I thought with the amount of kicks I've been getting I thought it'd be more than that but never mind so yeah let's quickly show you bump and then that'll be it I'm in my delightful maternity work trousers so here is bump um pretty solid some days looks a lot smaller some days looks bigger I'm going to a christening on Sunday my nephew's christening and I'm wearing a very tight dress so <laughs> could go one way or the other really but yeah thank you very much for watching hope you're enjoying all these pregnancy updates and we'll see you next week for the next one for 20 weeks where we'll probably be sharing our 20 week scan as well so thanks for watching see you later bye so those are my three main first trimester worries for you kind of big ones big hefty emotional